I'm trying to get the hell out of here. Oh, we're oh. trapped. Holy moly. Oh. Oh, now Malroth decides to show up. You're a little late for that. Uh-oh. Shidor in this version. Yeah, this guy's name is Sidor or whatever. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he is Malroth. Okay, so W balls attack, of course. What about magic here? Increase? Yeah, definitely use that and definitely use defense to try to lower his uh, defense as well. Because Sidor yes. will, or I'm just going to call him Malroth. He will, he will try to wow. oh, beat Kane's face in there. Owie. Yeah, he'll keep trying to cast increase on himself if you keep casting defense, which is kind of nice. It makes him waste a turn. Now, this guy has got, like, a ton of HP. Like, in the original game, he doesn't have nearly as much HP as he has right now. Yeah. Yeah, look at that defense drop. I like it. He's got like a, I think he's got like two thousand HP in this in this one. Wow. At least. Yeah, and in the original, I think he had like six hundred. But yeah, Malroth's pissed because you like stole his. Uh, originally, I guess you stole his eye or something, but now yeah. he's pissed because you got his statue. He's like, no one takes my st my statue. What the hell? Oh, W Ball's terrific move. Oh. You can only hope the ma oh, ow, ow, ow. Maybe I should use the. Uh... Oh, no, we didn't get it. <laughs> no, if you have this shield of strength or power shield here, that would totally be helpful. Hey, I think Kane's got heal all, doesn't he? Um, No, just heal more. Uh, it'll have to do. Yeah, heal himself and then have Maria do heal all on W balls. Alright, nice. Oh man, oh man. Yeah, maybe Kane, Gilmore, and Maria and do the same thing again. Yeah. Yeah, now, ooh, damn it. Yeah, definitely cast the increase now. And try defense again, why not? Yeah, this guy is, can be really tough. I mean, he gets like double attacks, this, this uh, terrible uh, fire thingy. He can be hard. Will, will explode and work against them? Ah, uh, you know what? Give it a try. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, it did. Nice. Wow. All right, so. Heal more probably on Maria, right? And then Maria yep. heal all on Kane. There we go. Nice attacking. I like how you're safe staying after every round. Yeah, I'm not taking any chances. I wouldn't either, man. I wouldn't either. If I'm a if I'm a coward, then so be it. <laughs> Let's see. Well, this coward's coming out in the end. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The only bitch about uh, Malroth here is that sometimes he'll cast heal all and spoil all. Yeah, I hope he doesn't. Which is bullshit, I think. Well, I guess what we can do is always just load up the thing again. Yeah, I just think it's bullshit. No one, no one besides your characters should have the ability to heal off. Okay, um... Defense isn't going to work, because he's already done. Let's do exploding again. Hell yeah, there we go. That violent blaze is killing me. Yeah, man, that blaze. He is crazy. That, that that is like seriously, that is like even worse than the Dragon Lord thing there. Yeah. Ugh. 
Jeez, I wish. Man. Alright, I guess heal more at Duquesne and then heal all W balls. He is defeated. Take that, Mal Rock. We did it, Steve. We did it. A beautiful voice is heard out of nowhere. Is it Rubus? The god of destruction, Malroth, has been destroyed. Once again, peace has returned. Up until now, I have always been watching over you. The gods have renewed all life. May the light shine upon us. Uh, went too fast for me. <laughs> yeah, you said something. I think she said something about, Hooray, you won. I didn't really help at all, but you won. Yep, and look. This castle tower burned to the ground. Hell yeah, that's what happened. So I guess we can walk around with no enemy attacking us. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if you can go that way. Oh, maybe you can. I could be wrong, Steve. Let's let's try it out. It's a brave new world out here, and we're gonna explore it. Oh yeah, look. Yeah, so now we can listen to the lovely world map song. And yep. Yeah. I guess we can. Um, you want to just see what the shrine says, or? Yeah, I mean, I can't think of anyone special. I mean, everyone's going to be like, Hooray, you defeated Hargon. You are truly a descendant of Loto. Yes. Yeah, the land of Rome. Maybe people can live up here and start skiing and stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See what this... Yeah, the, the, I, I don't know what, like... The only person that would really like, I would really like to see, but I know it would be a long walk. The Dragon Lord? The Dragon Lord's, uh, the Dragon Lord's grandson. We'll do it. I've done it before. Yeah, because I was like, I think I remember watching oh. someone's, uh, someone's thing on it, and they were like, let's check out what the Dragon Lord's got to say. Yeah, I don't think I can get out of this dialogue. What the hell? <laughs> oh god, did you let's load it. Really, really game? Yeah, we'll meet you back. Like on this part here? Yeah, we'll meet you back. We're back at Charlotte Castle. This is gonna be interesting. Oh W Balls, you have arrived. I'm very pleased. Aside from old matters, we have become good friends. From now on I'll call you W Balls 03 and you can call me Ry Ryu. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice. That's 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 cool. And I guess like with friends now. Oh. Yep. But I'd be cast outside. That would be nice if you could. Yep. And Yay. I guess we can check out. Oh, look at that. We don't even have to use the rainbow drop to get over here. Um, I guess we can check out Moonbrook and then head on to Maidenhall. And if Moonbrook shows any difference, which I don't think it's going to, we'll record it. If not, we're just, we'll just meet you back in Maidenhall. All right. We're here and look what's up. The king's alive. How is that even possible? I'm the spirit of king of Moonbrook. Who is that speaking to me? Yeah, it's Maria. Father! Oh, is he saying the same thing that he said when we turned him out of his dog form? Yeah, he's saying the same thing, but like he was actually back to like human form. Yep, he's saying the same thing. Yeah, I guess we can go to Canock and uh, after that, Maiden Hall, and the game is oh, watch the credits. Okay, we are back in Canock. Let's talk to the his sister, the princess, Kane's sister. See what she says. <laughs> yep. What a jerk! What a bitch! Yeah. Huh. Oh, nice one, Kane. Tell off your younger sister. Yeah, what a nice brother. 
He's telling us go, to go back to Maidenhawn. We will do that. We'll meet you there. Look, and no one's around. Did they all gather together? Or... Did they all get killed by Hargon and that really was Maidenhawn? <laughs> oh, there is everybody. Everybody's gathered in the king's chamber. And look at that. We saved the day. <laughs> you are looking good, Prince. <laughs> My own cousin's hitting on me. You want to date? You want to date W balls or something? Oh, yeah, it's this isn't. Uh, whoa, what's this? Come now, Prince W balls 0360 FE. <laughs> this translation. Thank you. Yeah, too bad you couldn't do it, huh? When the new age begins, I want you to lead the people. Uh oh, he's giving his throne to him. Is he going to deny it like his other descendant before him? Yeah. Wonder what if I say no? Well, though, though must. No. It's a but thou must. Yeah, so be it. That's your decision. <laughs> he said three times no. And Cain and Maria are stepping forward. <laughs> yes, here we go. The Dragon Quest, Dragon Warrior music. Sweet, I love this theme. Yeah. And look at that, all the cousins totally, uh, totally kicked ass. Yes. So yes, man, I'd like to thank you. Oh, look, it's nighttime. Party? Oh, fireworks. Sweet, we're gonna party like it's 1999. Yeah. Wow. It's finally nighttime. <laughs> yeah, I know. We did, we did this all in one day, see? Yep. <laughs> huh. And so the young man who shares the blood of Roto Edric again return peace to the world. Princess Prince Kane, Princess Maria, and King W Balls 03, your names will be handed down for all eternity. Yay! <laughs> Uh, well, I don't know about for all eternity, but as long as uh, everyone can remember. Oh, yeah. And here's the credits. I guess it shows our the beginning of our adventure. Yeah. Yep. We're in... Very neat. I haven't been in this game in a while, so it's kind of nice to see the, the credits all over again. Yep, and we're in the spring of bravery there. Yep. So yeah, Steve, I just want to thank you for letting me be in this, and uh, I hope I was able to help you out through this baby, even though it was a little difficult. Oh, jeez, you gave me directions everywhere. Uh, you more than helped me. <laughs> yeah. and I just want to say thanks for you. I mean, you know, you're a busy guy and stuff, and you're uh, definitely a true friend doing all these episodes with me. I definitely got to thank you. Yeah. You are welcome, good sir. And, um, yeah, so, I don't know, uh, when I'll do my next LP, but hell, maybe I'll just go for, to Dragon, uh, Warrior 4, maybe, I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, maybe you can play that, that's not a bad game to go with. I definitely want to play 5, I know that's your favorite, and I like it a lot, um, you've done it before, and... I might, I might definitely, I'm probably definitely going to play that game. I don't know what version I'll play. I know Veteran 012 one's playing the uh, PlayStation 2 version that was never released here, only in Japan, and it looks pretty awesome. Yeah, so, it is pretty cool looking. Yeah, so I'll try to decide what I want to do, which version, the Super Famicom or uh, Super Nintendo or the PS2. Yeah. 
so, uh, oh, look, we're bringing the medicine back to camp. Yep. So, Steve, what's your next Let's Play? Huh, I don't even know yet. Um, <laughs> I would really like to move on to consoles, but I, like I said, I still don't have, I don't have a TV yet. Um, I really don't know. Um, I really didn't think that far ahead right now. I don't know. I was messing around with um, Super Mario RPG, even though I said I wasn't going to do any more RPG games, but it looks pretty cool. I might screw around, maybe do something with that. I don't really know too much about it, but do you? Yeah, I know, uh, I know a good deal of that game. Okay. It's not a bad game to play. Uh, it's pretty fun. I won't lie to you. Yeah, maybe I'll mess around with that, and yeah, we'll see. I'm not really sure yet. I'll have to think about it, and yeah, but... Yeah, so I have to say, uh, you know, judging these Dragon Quest games, I have to, this is probably my, my not my least favorite, the second uh, to last one, just because it's so damn hard. Yeah. And there was so much grinding, uh, or, yeah, I don't really like saying grinding, but yeah, there was so much like leveling that you had to do and getting money. If they made things like a little cheaper, maybe you could have went through the game a little easier. Yep. But, yeah, the whole cave to Rome was crazy hard. Yep, there's the fake king right there. Uh oh, it shows our final showdown here. That's cool. I wish, I wish they did that in the, in the NES version. Hmm. But, so Steve, what do you what uh what do you say about this game? Your like final thoughts on this game? I I like the game, but like I said, it's it's lower on my list of Dragon Quest games. I mean, three is always my favorite. I had played eight. I really liked it. I gotta finish it. It's eight's up there on me. I really love five. So like three, eight, and five are real high. Even the first Dragon Quest was great, but this is like kind of lower. Um, but I mean, it's still a great game, but it's lower. Yeah. On you know on the totem pole, but I don't know. I, I like I just, it. I just think it would have been a better game if it wasn't so damn difficult. Yeah, it's just and then just the normal stuff like you know there's a lot there's a good bit of towns and castles. It would be nice if you could cast a return spell and you can pick which place you want to go to. Yeah, that's that's a major flaw. It just gets annoying, you know. Yeah, and the item management could it got a little bad, but yeah, if yeah. they. If they could just put a uh, in, um, a bag in there where you can hold um, as many items as you want, that would be a lot better too. Yeah. So well, we did it, Steve. We beat this game, and now you've done the uh, original Loto trilogy, or Edric, or yep. Loto, or however, however you want to say. Yeah. I mean, I played all versions except for Dragon Warrior Two for the NES. Maybe. You know, a year or so down the road, I'll actually come back to this game and do it for the NES. Maybe you can join me. That'll be something. Yeah, that would be crazy. <laughs> it's probably harder than this version. I don't know. Definitely. Yeah, I don't think you get as many prayer rings, that's for sure. Yeah. So, anything you got to add? No, I'm just going to say, you know what? This is a timeless classic, even though it is very hard. It's still a very good game. It's just... You know, it's got to be, you know, the raw, you know, the hardest of the uh, RPGs out there, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, even H.C. Bailey said that. Yeah. But, um, okay, so, like I said, I want to thank you again. It's awesome that you took time out every day to be in this with me. I totally appreciate it, and that's basically about it. So, I, I'll, uh, thanks for everybody watching. I love my viewers and everything, and, um... I don't know, get ready for my next LP, whatever it is. So this has been W Balls 03 with Kenshin 1913. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.